Julie, say hi to the vlog. <laughs> She's flying out of the same airport as us. Ethan's always vlogging. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Delta Airlines Flight 2998. Remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened anytime the seatbelt sign is on. All electronic devices should not be turned off. Done didn't make it we made it. to Chicago. Now we gotta go to DC. Yeah. Bye Julie. Have fun. All carry on items should now be stuck secure again. Welcome aboard Delta Flight 2928 and thank you for flying Delta. I'm gonna be in a middle seat thanks to that guy. So, and then now with him, it's, I'm just gonna be in between two random people. So, I'm gonna see you guys in Washington because I don't wanna vlog that. Awkward and bulky with the camera, so I'm gonna see you guys in Washington. See you there. Bye. Come on, dude, we're in Washington, Maine. DC. How was your flight? It's okay. Yeah. Oof. All right, so now we just have to, are you finding the metro? We have to find the metro. Yeah. So we're just gonna start walking until we find something that is resembles a metro. Because I can get B-roll, he can carry my luggage. See? That's why I have him. in the Wi-Fi password pod life. I expect her to be pod like life. Jules. Mango pod life. Mango pod life. Dude, we made it. Okay, I'm just gonna like lay down here for a second. Okay, so. What's so this? This is just a mirror. It's like a hotel room, but it's just smaller. Yeah. Like it's, it's like a, a mini a, hotel room. It's really nice actually. It is very nice. So we're at the pod life hotel, but I will get back to you guys and update you in like Five minutes after I take a little nap. We also, hey Noah, we need to go get lunch. Hi, I'm back. Also, look at my hair. It's long. You guys probably haven't seen that in a while. Anyways, um, this toilet also has two buttons and I'm not sure what to do with myself, but that's beside the point. So we're in Washington, D.C. right now. We're going to a conference. Like I said, I don't know if I said, anyways, we're going to a conference on Thursday, but we're here two days early because we're going to like touristy do stuff I don't know English is not my strong suit anyways we love it so far this place is beautiful but we are completely sketched out by this place everybody looks like they hate their life and then they want to mug you this bag has everything I own in life in it and I am freaking out not really but I mean I'm, we're completely new at this and we have no idea what we're doing whatsoever hunkering down in this hotel room until, until we feel safe tomorrow. again All right, so we're going to Chick-fil-A right now. We're, we're risking it for the biscuit, literally. Man, dude, this place is so cool. Look at the buildings, they're so beautiful. Oh, you got that little lens flare in there. Dude, we're just two kids in this big world. Like, literally, my mind is blown. This place is so big and cool looking. Wow. Thoughts. It's amazing. It's so sick, dude. What's up, my dudes? So we just ate lunch. It was delicious. Now we're going to the Smithsonian and Noah keeps complaining that he doesn't want to walk anymore. And I'm the one with 30 pounds of camera gear. What's your defense? I'm freaking tired and just had Chick-fil-A. Oh, that's a good defense, okay. We're, yeah, no, not Smithsonian. We're going to the National Aero and Space. We got water for a dollar. We're at this place finally. We're both dying so much. So hot out here. 
I can't do it anymore. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh hey, look at that moon landing. Oh, hey, look at that spaceship. Oh, hey, look at that Noah. Good morning! Woo! Dude, the mic won't even be able to pick that scream up. Anyways, good morning. Uh, day two, Washington DC, homie. Noah, recap. Got pizza last yeah, night. Pizza. And they came Instead. in these boxes that looked like keyboards. So we had keyboard pizza last night, that was cool. We gotta clean up all of this stuff. The biggest issue we had yesterday was the fact that we had to walk everywhere and so today we are taking limes which are those fun scooter things also gonna give you guys a rundown on my bag setup today got the ronin batteries candy that's a must 24 to 70 16 to 35 70 to 200 oh and can't forget your water otherwise you you will die it's it's a fact i hope i have everything we're leaving all right we're out of the hotel now we are gonna just spend the next couple hours exploring dc get tons of cinematics and ride some lime After exploring DC for the earlier half of Wednesday, Noah and I headed over to the conference we'd be attending at the National 4-H Center in Chevy Chase, Maryland, right outside of DC. This conference was put on by the Young Americans Foundation. They are an organization focused on educating the youth on conservative ideas. Before you get triggered, unsubscribe, or think of me differently in any way, I would just like to say this. This channel has nothing to do with politics. I like to make films, vlog, and document my life because I love creating. I think talking about politics, especially on the internet, is just a lose-lose situation. You're bound to make somebody upset. And like I said, that's not what my content is about. If I'm being honest, the only reason I attended this conference is because YAF gave me travel assistance and paid for my plane ticket. I figured I could make a vacation out of this and travel to DC where I'd never been before. This doesn't mean I wasn't interested in the conference, however. I am an entrepreneur, and I believe in conservative capitalistic ideas. But hey, everybody is entitled to their own opinion and beliefs. I mean, this is America after all. I think that no matter what you believe, you should educate yourself rather than blindly following ideas presented to you. I also think that most people forget the virtue of charity in politics. We are called to love our neighbor no matter what their beliefs are, and our political beliefs should be in the best interest of our neighbor and country. I didn't really know what to expect coming to this conference, but this was one of the best trips of my life. Noah and I were super lucky and got two of the coolest roommates, Nolan and Jackson. No joke, when we got to our room, they were straight chilling playing Smash Bros. They didn't really come for the politics. They were interested in the conference, but weren't political nutheads like some of the people that attended. The lineup of speakers Yaf had were amazing. Like seriously, they were just incredible. From Bay Buchanan to Burt Folsom, they just had an amazing lineup of speakers that were super motivational and super informative. I really enjoyed being around like-minded people that held the same beliefs as me. It was really nice that I could have honest conversations with other people, learning new ideas, and further educating myself. I would like to thank Yaf for the opportunity to come to this conference. It was not a plane ticket wasted, that's for sure. The friends and memories made will stay with me forever, and I can remember them because of videos like this one. On Friday after the conference was over, the last hurrah was a twilight tour of the Capitol. It was sick.
getting his money's worth. Smart man. What? My toothbrush was on the floor. <laughs> I gotta write all these thank you notes to all the people that made this trip free. 